Kathleen Kennedy, ready to retire, mm-hmm. but is waiting for a win. Okay. So she's gone. I think it's been. I think it's that time has come and passed many years ago. Uh, after the first Star Wars film, yeah. Um, well, I suppose I suppose I'd give her the first Star Wars film because it weren't the worst thing in the world. Uh, but definitely after the second Star Wars film, um, she should have been out on her ass straight away. Um, why? Why? Why on earth? The top people, Bob Iger, didn't question her when she's going out. I'm going to have a different producer for every one of my three films with no consistency, and they're going to be able to do anything they want with the script. Why nobody with the modicum of an IQ would have turned around and gone, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard someone do or think of doing. Why on earth are you going to do that, and who is saying yes to letting you do that? That's when she should have gone. You agree? Yeah. I mean, it's a joke. It's an absolute bloody joke. The films were incoherent. They're a mess. None, nothing led from one to the other. The second film basically destroyed and killed every single plot line from the first one. And the third one was just trying to play catch up to just stick something on the screen. I mean, the third one, I thought, was better than the second. Uh, and I'm giving a lot of uh, leeway on that because J.J. Abrams had to work with literally nothing because that little shit ryan um annihilated the whole whole trilogy by being controversial because he's a tit and just wanted to he he just destroyed every single possible story plot hole or storyline that could possibly be and at that point that's when she should have gone she should have gone with ryan simple as he was a freak Little flaw. I'm so pissed off with what he did to Star Wars. According to entertainment analysts, oh man, this this will be a fun vid. Uh, it's going to be some sort of incredibly stupid request, isn't it? Kathleen Kelly ready to retire, but he's waiting for a win. According to, she ain't going to get a win. I mean, have you not just had a TV series come out, literally just finished in the last few weeks, um, the Acolyte and. I don't think that... Wasn't that the biggest failure you've had? It was the biggest failure. Yes. Yeah. She's not getting a win. Yeah. The win would be just to fuck off. Video. (laughs) This is going to be a fun one. All right. Before we get into this, could you do me a huge favor? And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Yeah, guys. If you could subscribe to us, that would be huge. Uh, This is a new channel. I'm selling this uh, and I think well. Rebel Scum shirt. Guys, gals, tank tops. I'll we'll be enjoying it's the only this content. For about I am. 10 more days, then it's gone. I like that Use one a lot. That's a nice top. I'm tempted to buy it, actually. Pin comment and the description. Get it. This is drunk it. C3PO. Now let's get into this. You this like the far right. This is brought to you by That Park Place. Go check them out. They're doing some great work over there. The article continues. Kathleen Kennedy apparently has something to do with much of the Star Wars fan base. Hang on, what? Kathleen Kennedy wants to start her own woke company. Right, okay. That doesn't surprise me. Carry on what she's doing at the George Lucas and Disney. So, Disney knows about it. What, so, how long has this been going? How long has this been in the works, or? Yeah, she's true. Yeah, it's true. Since she started at Disney. So, basically, she started at Disney, and she's got her own idea of creating her own production company or something. It is a, it is a production company. Right. And Disney like, yeah, sure, you can destroy our franchise so you've got no competition, and then uh, do your own thing. Yeah, well, we don't mind. Isn't that a conflict of interest? Massively. Right, okay. She wants Kathleen Kennedy to leave Lucasfilm. <laughs> but according to Film Threats, Chris Gore, hey, it's Chris. Some of us call him Frank, but hey, she's only willing to walk out the door under one condition. She wants to leave on the heels of a massive critical and commercial success. Oh. She is never going to leave Disney then. My goodness. That's something Lucasfilm hasn't experienced in quite some time. 
Man, when was the last time? I guess you could say The Force Awakens. He is. Maybe. He is, yeah. Was their last big one? Yeah, or maybe Rogue One. That could be the last big hit for Star Wars. Last Jedi. Just shout out to Rogue One. Great film. It could have been bigger. You loved Rogue but One. But it had yeah. the biggest drop off of all time. Once people saw it, they were like, oh. Rogue One was the only last Star Wars film they've done. Yeah, well, I agree. Done. And then The Rise of Skywalker did okay. But. Uh, yeah, Rogue One. That that's crazy. Under Kennedy, the Star Wars franchise has gone from the most evergreen IP of all time to a sour note punching bag for YouTubers. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yes, it was under Kennedy that the deeply unpopular Star Wars sequel trilogy was born, which saw the death of Han Solo and Luke Skywalker and their characters. And, and so I was always going to die. Them. Yeah, we all knew that. When, we all knew that when they brought Han Solo back, he, he was going to die. They were going to kill him off. Because he's been saying it for decades that he just wants his character to die. So we all knew he came back on the grounds of, you are killing me off this time. Because he just does not want to do it anymore. So, yeah. Um, but he did, yeah, you're right. He did come back as a ghost. Yeah. I'm just thrown out the window. Just completely gone. Han Solo was killed, and they didn't even do a funeral. They didn't even recognize him. He just fell in a hole. And yeah. that was about it. The last time I think we talked about him was like Luke Skywalker was like, where's Han? That's it. Nothing else. Pretty wild. And then uh, the rise of Palpatine. Holy crap. And she signed off on this like it was a good thing. Mm. Yeah, it was a good thing. She also oversaw Solo, a Star Wars story, which holds the distinction of being the first ever Star Wars film to lose money at the box office. Yep, that was trash. I'll be honest with you guys. I've managed to, I think I managed to watch 10, maybe 50 minutes of St uh, Solo, and it was so bad. I was like, nah. I'm not going to waste my time on this. It's it is that bad. I really am not bothered to watch it. So that's right. And then the uh, the Disney Plus shows. I think Mandalorian one and two were probably a hit. I guess even though everybody loves Andor, it just wasn't watched by anyone. Again, people in my I never watched Andor. Like Jay, go over <clears throat> Andor really and do it on the channel. Should I do that? Okay. You guys want me to review each Definitely episode, worth watch. even though they've been out for a while? Yeah, I can't be bothered. And uh, just do a video a day on each episode and what I thought about it? Would you guys yeah, want really that? Good. Right. Like, let me know in the comment section below. If the people want it, Jay will deliver. Hey, listen, I'm going to take this a step further because then we get into what Chris Gore heard about Kathleen Kennedy and why she wants to leave Lucasfilm. In 2023... And I did videos on this. Let, let's just go through this real quickly. We had the Willow or Willow 2, Willow series, whatever you want to call it. That's not even Star Wars. It's Lucasfilm. It was so bad, it was removed from Disney+. Plus. We had Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny lost over $300 million and mm -hmm. some say even more. Um, let me just saw that. So, good God. Right in my eyes. The um, Willow, um, I'll be honest, was absolute trash. They, they took a great IP that was beloved by millions and, and a, a fond childhood memory for millions of people and crapped all over it and again used it to push a completely different agenda. They made Willow a side character in his own TV, in his own IP. And the crap toe of Man Morgan. Uh, and I'm not being funny, um, but, you know, he can't defend himself because he's got throat cancer, can barely talk. And they think the best way to pay respect to somebody that happened to make that film amazing was to insult his memory and crap all over him. And that just annoyed me. Yeah. It was, it was wrong. Absolutely horrible. And... <clears throat> I'm going to say something you may not like. I actually kind of did like the Dial Destiny. Uh, I liked the start of it when they de-aged him. I thought they did a great job on that. 
And I like the end with the history aspect of it. Um, I like the bit where I went to Archimedes' tomb. Um, you know, so there were there were a number of things in the film that I did like. Do I think it's a great uh, Indiana Jones film? No, it's nowhere near as good as any of those, as the originals. Um, most probably as good, maybe slightly better than the Crystal School, just on the premise that the Crystal School was just so stupidly out there with it being about aliens. Uh, it was just like, really? Come on. Uh, and that's the only reason why the Crystal School fell for me on that one. So, aliens is stupid. What, the movie or the aliens in Indiana Jones? In Indiana Jones, right, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. That's Lucasfilm. That's under Kennedy. The Galactic Star Cruiser. Kennedy had her hands all in it. People from Lucasfilm helped design it. They thought it was going to be a massive success because it was Star Wars. Didn't even last a year. Mandalorian Season 3 was terrible. Disney lost more subscribers in the middle of the Mandalorian Season 3 than they have, like, Is I that think true? in any particular time. What we were yeah, it's shocking. Right, it's okay. crazy. Why does this woman still have a job? Anybody else who runs a company like this, just in that particular year? Yeah, I'm, I'm not being funny, but anybody else in any other company that was losing volumes of what she's lost for this brand would have been out. Hell, the, the, they wouldn't even had a chance to do Willow. And to be fair, after the second film, the most probably would have been gone by then. There's no way any other company would have allowed her to continue. Well, just look. Just look at that smug face. She, she has a face that you just want to hate. I can't stand that woman. And I can't stand her either. She was basically a glorified receptionist. She's got no qualifications whatsoever to do literally anything apart from take phone calls and leave pass on a message. You're alone? Um, you can't stand them. No, I can't. Like, just completely running it into the ground. Then Andor, uh, not Andor, excuse me, the Acolyte is where she cried and said this is going to be the show that changes Star Wars. Oh, you bet. No way. Is that true? The, uh, she Leslie cried. The Nielsen ratings came out and uh, nobody watched it because nobody yes. cared because you have damaged yes, this know. brand. I didn't I see. mean, damaged it. And damaged, it, it destroyed. Like this. You, you could have made your little Star Wars shows with all your messaging and everything, but still done something else for the older fans, you know, and then you would have seen like, who actually, uh, mm. who actually is going to give you money for whatever. But, you know, here we are. And uh, now you're wanting to retire, but you don't want to retire on a low note. Crazy time. Just retire on so we any have and get WDW lost. So we have Pro talking to Chris Gore. You know, if you don't know who Chris Gore is over on Film Thread, go check him out. He gets invited to I all the I think Chris Gore's premieres. all right. He's got all the scoops. He's got everything over there. That's your source for a lot of stuff that happens way before the fact it gets reported in the media. That's where you need to go. He says, we've been hearing lately that... D Disney banned her from talking at one point. What, Kathleen Kennedy? They banned her from talking at one point. Yes. All right, when was that? A couple of years ago. Okay. What, is, is there a particular reason? She kept giving empty promises. All right, okay. Kathleen Kennedy is not very hands-on with Star Wars at this point. Chris Gore says... There's not really any yeah, Star Wars left at this point. Similar things. She wants to retire and leave. But she wants to do that on a win. Gore went on to say that in order to leave, Kennedy wants a huge success. And she can ride into retirement. Yeah. Um, where's she never gonna, gonna happen? The Ray movie, man, these people are so out of touch. They are so out of touch. They are from, out of touch from what people want. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I always predicted, and I was wrong, that she was gonna leave after Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones has always been her baby. She's always been a part of it. 
whatever, whether she was getting coffee for Steven Spielberg, but she was always a part of it. I figured she'd want to knock out this one last Indiana Jones, destroy his character, which she did, and uh, right off into the means. sunset. But maybe because it was such a big bomb, she didn't want to leave on a, on a negative note. But, uh, I mean, what? how old is she? 71? Yeah, like, is uh, she? she's not going to be around much longer. And no, I'm not talking about her dying or anything like that. Right here it says that her contract is set to expire in October. But, uh, you know, she's just going to leave with that legacy of destroying There's no way she can do something Star successful Wars. between Plus now and October. she's got a lawsuit with Gina Carano. Oh, yeah, the Gina Carano lawsuit. Uh, I saw that um, she's wanting Peter Pas Pedro Pascal and Kathleen Kennedy to testify or something. Um, I can't... I, I, I'll tell you what. I really, really hope uh, Gina Carano wins, and not just wins, absolutely destroys Disney. Like, it's going to be the biggest payment they're ever going to have to make ever in their history for what they did to her. It was absolutely, it's just stupid what went on with that. Absolutely stupid. Gina Carano was awesome. Yeah, I, well, I, I didn't see her. I heard lots of things say how great she was and how much the fans liked her. And it was her second kind of like main role because she did Deadpool and then she went on to this. And this is how like, it just, just like ended her career. So I'm not surprised Gina Carano's ticked off. I don't blame her. It was disgusting what they did to her. She did nothing wrong. Yeah, well, exactly. Let's hope she wins. You know, big. she could end up leaving on that note. It's crazy. She could have just uh, went off into the sunset, finished out her career. Her name's attached to many projects, including one of my all-time favorite films, The Goonies. She Goonies. Got a lot of awards, and that would have been the end of it. But now, love it looks the like Goonies. She could be riding off into a lawsuit with Gina Carano and losing for mishandling things, mm -hmm. destroying the Star Wars and Indiana Jones and Willow IP, completely destroying it, yeah, and not making anything as far as positive financial gains for Disney from Lucasfilm, which is holy crap. How do you how do you mess up Star Wars? That that IP should be printing money from all fronts, from comic mm -hmm. books to books. To movies, TV shows, yeah. theme park. I know, I know the, uh, the when the films came out and that sort of thing. Apart from the first film, the majority of stock doesn't really sell. So there's like products and stock on like supermarket shelves and toy shops, and they're not going. They're just sat there, and the like the stock accumulated over years from movie to movie, where they still haven't been sold. Um, I think it's not Midnight's Edge. Is it? I think it might be Midnight's Edge, and he goes to uh, like Toys R Us and that sort of thing. Um, and there's just mountains of Star Wars things that have like gone from like like fifteen twenty pounds down to two pound fifty just to try and get rid of it, and it's not even selling for that. Just a waste of the resources. And ah, oh, mm. works. I mean. On all fronts. It's because it's but all here trash. We are. But what do you guys think? Do you think this is true? Think she's ready? Is it is it all trash because of what they've done to Star Wars? Or do you see what I mean? If Star Wars was amazing, people would buy it. But because Star Wars is so bad, it's trash, as you say. I think she's just like, oh, I'm tired. True. I want to do yeah. other things. I'm done. I just want to. I just want to have some lattes. You know, maybe uh, a couple margaritas every now and then. I can't and, believe she uh, said right off into the sunset. But these people, man, they're so full of pride. They they can't go out on a failure. You know, they just, just they go. just can't. Please just It just go. damages them too much. They want to leave something where it's like, look what I did. Look what I did. And uh, man, yeah, look what you did. Yeah. I was gonna... Look what you did. I was going to say the exact same thing. Look what you did. Your legacy... No matter what happens now, she could walk out with the greatest, most successful th film 
of all time and for the next 40 years it could be the most successful film for of all time um but the problem is uh she will be remembered for basically just destroying and the biggest ip in history absolutely destroying it apart from the mcu but destroying it and that's what she'll be remembered for simple as <laughs>